Hey, it's Alan here at TGG with uh, James here at the Star Charity event. How'd you do? Um, I, uh, I did pretty good throughout the event. My heart is not going to be like this abandoning that is trial. Um, I guess we'll start off with monsters and the starters. So we have a Skystriker Ace Rush. Um, sorry, Rows. Two Rows. Three Rays. Um, and that's it for like the monster starters. I guess we'll move into hand traps now. Sure. Um, three nib, lots of combo, barely any control. Three veiler, good card, need it for the um, OTK. Three ogre, I run it over Ash um, because it's just better in this format. Otherwise, it'd definitely be playing Ash. And we just, these are the bricks, we just have Malicious and Celestial. Mm, interesting. Um, how did Nib and the Mango for you today? Um, it went pretty good. I actually got a lot of wins because what had, ends up happening is I get a hand trap and a Nib. Mm -hmm. so kills the Brave Engine with the first hand trap and then ends the turn with the Nib. And then I normally have game priority and I just win. Mm -hmm. Nice. So um, we'll move on to the Spell Trap. Sure. Start off with the Scratch Breaker one ups. We have one multi roll, the Engage. Oh, oh, mm, you're good. Yep. <laughs> Keep going. Multi roll, Engage, Hornet Drones. Basically, another copy of Ray. Mm -hmm. I know not a lot of people run this card anymore, but it's a good recursion in the tournament um, for those grind matchups, like prank kids you need them in. Definitely, if you end up getting deeper in the base matchups, you need that. Mm -hmm. Um, we have the uh, Afterburners and Jamin Waves. I prefer to run the Jamin Waves instead of the two Afterburners because it hits control way harder than it would um, because this will make its combo decks and when it hits control it isn't as major. Um, we have Rota because another copy of Ray. You Rota want is Rota. <laughs> um, three Widow Anchor. It's Widow Anchor. Yeah. Not much to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they can see the card. <laughs> two Shark Cannon. Um, I started it out most games, but that's because there's some spicy stuff in the side. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty good um, in certain matchups, but it's searchable, and that's why you only run it at two. And it isn't applicable to every situation. We have one Terraforming, so uh, for the one Terraforming, I run two Area Zero because you need to. One's just for digging deeper, and one you can pop it with multi-roll or anything really, twisters, you know, all that stuff, and it will float into a ray just in case you didn't get it. Um, Mystic Mine for the free wins. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And the reason, that's actually the reason why I'm running Terraforming, so it can count as three copies of Area Zero or two copies of, Terraform of Mystic mm -hmm. Mine. Mm -hmm. And then the two Destiny Fusion gets me into Phoenix and Force. Okay. Um, now we will move on to the trap cards. I only run six. Three Imperm. Hand trap. Three, there can only be one. Barely any decks can play around it. And it's hard to explain how you can link under it, but you can. It's just more difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess now we'll move on to the side deck. Oh, sorry. Deck. Extra deck, maybe. Uh, <laughs> well, you run the Verte and Phoenix Enforcer. Because, yeah. Yeah, Sky Striker cards. Sky Striker mm. cards, yeah. They should just call them Sky Striker Verte and <laughs> Phoenix Enforcer. Um, you run the Axis Code package. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty simple combo. Summon Veiler twice, basically. Mm -hmm. And then you just link the Axis Code, blow up the board, get the kill. Yep. Really good little finisher. Um, we have three um, Pina. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, it just adds What else needs to be said yeah. <laughs> for your recursion? Need. Um, recursion, not. This is our surprisingly main win con. It applies a lot of pressure throughout the game. It doesn't look like it will. So it's able to attack directly and send a Sky Striker spell. Normally I'll send Engage, or from under Troll, I'll send the card that I need, because it's a free add when you combine Kagari and Biotech. I run the 3 Shizuku, 
for it basically gives you follow up and give you either engage corner thrones or like literally whatever you need um, and then the one kinda for aggro decks when something finally gets through after like 200 years it stops them in their tracks and you're able to do the one more turn and kill also them. helps in time sometimes yeah a if little you get bit. there but hopefully the you don't have to do that <laughs> But yeah, it definitely helps. You know, since this is Sky Strikers, we'll start off the extra, the, not the extra, the side deck with the spells. Um, we have two Twister and one Duster. Um, basically, this automatically gets you two spells, so it's better than Cyclone and only this situation. True. And then Duster is for the disgusting players to play control, <laughs> not including myself here. token collector because everything's playing tokens you get a chance to use that today oh so many times really because mm -hmm. a base prank kids mm -hmm. anything that plays definitely sword so i played against that device yeah. anything that plays what is it, whatever it's called um brave token brave token yeah, yeah. It's just one of those things, like, until today, I've heard everyone playing it, but, like, no one resolved it. And no one yeah. seems to ever draw it when they need it, but... I resolve it, like, Nice. Um, I think there's one more card I resolve more, but we'll get to sure. that. Sure. We will get, um, Lancios. Um, I don't like my cards being banished. I don't get the recursion then. Mm-hmm. Really helps with most matchups. But you know what? We're gonna move on to the traps. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the version of the better Lancio. With, um... Three Imperial Iron Ball. This was an all-star this today. It resolved like a total of about ten times. Wow. Um, and every time it resolved, I either won the game or slowed them down for like at least three turns. That is a very spicy tech. Yeah. So huh. bird, most control decks, especially based, doesn't look like it will hurt them. Um they don't get right of hardness. Mm -hmm. like yeah. And then uh, there's like a few other decks. It just like hits everything. I just can't express how good it was. Very and then three dimensional barrier. It's good against the base, and if you already know what's happening, it's really strong. Because it's based, you can see what combo line they're going into like one play before. You do this, stop it. Or it can be a, a non targeting imperm. Because mm -hmm. it negates all of them with the attribute. Mm -hmm. So, well, not with the attribute, with the type. Okay. So, yeah, stops, pens completely kill DDDs. Absolutely. You don't see Pen on a lot again, but mm -hmm. it's there. And that's it for my necklace. Awesome. Thank you very much for the deck profile, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.